Does your dog suffer from dry eyes? These are three new natural remedies. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Dry eyes in dogs, what is it? In veterinary terms, is known as KCS or Corrado conjunctivitis sica. In this condition, there is a decrease in tear production for the eyes, resulting in the secondary clinical signs. You see all this mucoid production. You see inflammation on the surface of the eye. You see these chronic eye infections. Ultimately, if these dogs aren't treated, they can completely lose vision as a whole surface of the cornea becomes scarred and unable to have light pass through it. Typically what you'd see is wake up and there's all this kind of mucoid debris in the corner of your dog's eye, this layer of film and you know, wipe it off and it stays sticky. And the eyes, the surface of the eye, they are really dry. If your dog were to experience these symptoms, you're gonna go see your veterinarian. They're gonna do a simple test called the STT, the Schirmer tear test. They put this little strip of white paper in the corner of the eyes. You can actually just measure tear production over the period of a minute. So it's pretty quick and simple to get the diagnosis. The treatment, that's a different matter. The mainstay of conventional treatment includes putting in tear drops or replacing the tears and then try to suppress the immune mediated response, which is what typically is triggering this issue in the first place. The immune system is attacking the lacrimal duct. That's these are the glands that are producing tears, decrease in tear production, all these secondary clinical signs. It's a super common condition. I regularly used to see this in veterinary practice. These are three new remedies. They may help your dogs. The first one is this guy, castor oil. There's a long history of using castor oil for the eyes. Not only is it a great lubricant, it's also a natural topical anti-inflammatory. A number of people are using castor oil, finding it to be very effective. I'm gonna try it on myself, because the big thing with the artificial tears, I don't know if any of you have used it, if you've got a dog that has KCS, they don't last very long. Like you, oh, it's like every hour you're putting these drops in the eyes. So the eyes are just staying kind of mucoid and inflamed. Castor oil is much more thick, it's viscous, so it lasts longer. And it's a natural product. It comes from the castor bean. It's anti-inflammatory. It's kind of covering a lot of the different bases. And it's also supposed to be quite soothing. So let me be the first to try it out before I put it into this. If I can get a drop in my eye. Okay, got the castor oil and it's, hmm. Aside from being oily, I get a better system in there. It, it's very soothing. Hmm. Mine feels pretty good. They're actually kind of dry. It's winter out. Hmm. It's dried on Tula. So I would have you pull down your dog's lower lid. Let's see if we can drop in the castor oil Tula. There. Putting in one drop two to four times a day. I mean, do that for a week and assess whether that is being beneficial or not. First, before you do it, talk to your veterinarian. Secondly, if you're using castor oil, you wanna make sure that it's sterile. So it's, you know, you're using a brand new bottle from a natural health store. It's not being contaminated. So you're obviously introducing an infection into your dog's eye. That being said, thousands of people are regularly using castor oil on their eyes. Find it to be really effective. Number two. CBD or cannabidiol. We know this condition has an autoimmune basis. That's why Optimune or cyclosporin, the traditional veterinary treatment, why it often works. I mean, it's suppressing the overactive immune system, allowing the tear duct gland to produce tears again. What is considered a quote unquote natural anti-inflammatory slash immune modulator? This guy, CBD or cannabidiol. CBD or cannabidiol may be beneficial by one, just naturally decreasing inflammation. So there's less eye irritation, but more importantly, modulating the immune system, which is attacking the tear duct gland in the first place. So if little Tula were to have KCS dry eye, definitely do a trial of CBD cannabidiol. I do it for at least a full month to see like whether or not it's being beneficial or not. 
The standard dose is three milligrams per 10 pounds. My CBD is three milligrams per drop. She's 20 pounds, she would get two drops and she likes it. So I'm just gonna put two drops on my finger and show you how easy it is to treat her. Uh -huh. <gasps> A medication that you like, perfect. There I go, CBD, little pupster. Mm. That being said, I seem to have a, some, what the hell's going on? I think I need some CBD. Yep. Some for me and some for the hound. Perfect, okay. Number three, an amino acid has been shown to be very helpful for many people with dry eyes, N-acetylcysteine. So N-acetylcysteine, it's an amino acid that is called mucinolytic. So what it means, it'll help break up mucus secretions. So often it's used for people and for our dogs that have bronchitis. They've got this kind of thick mucoid discharge sitting in their airways. This has been really beneficial. Say you have a dog with dry eye. What do they have in the surface of the eyes? These thick mucoid secretions. Like it looks like just thick goo stuck to the surface of their eye. If you can break some of that stuff down, there, it's really gonna improve the signs and symptoms, be really beneficial for dry eye. And what can do that? N-acetylcysteine. A typical N-acetylcysteine dose is about 200 milligrams per 20 pounds daily. Little Tula, she weighs 20 pounds. She get about a third of this capsule. So I'd break it up and even that amount out, given it over a three day period. If you've got a dog with dry eye, some of the other remedies haven't been beneficial. I encourage you to consider it as well. This is a hard condition to treat. Uh, the typical veterinary medication, the Optimune, it's expensive, you know, 40, 50, $60 a tube, right? It might not even last you two weeks. It can be really expensive as well. If your dog is not responding and or you're considering some alternatives, you know, consider the ones we just discussed, talk to your veterinarian, and let me know whether they're being beneficial or not. It's Dr. Jones. Thanks so much for watching this edition on Veterinary Secrets on new remedies for dry eyes and dogs. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign for notifications, and then you click the link directly in the box below. I can send you a copy of my free book.